ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6. As you can hear, my voice has become worse since the last episode. So in case you didn't know, the reason I haven't had that many videos lately is because I've been very ill. And I am still... Uh, I'm, still I'm still very ill. It, it's just a cold, but... Just a cold for a YouTuber is pretty harsh because of the fact that it affects my voice, as you can hear. So hopefully that explains if I sound a little bit rusty. Like, literally, I feel like my voice is very, very rusty. But anyway, today we're starting things off out in Hermitville once again. And I have done some more work on this machine since the last episode. And this is the beginning of Sahara Fuel. This is where I want hermits to be able to come to order rockets, golden carrots, and... XP. Yeah, XP bottles. And since the last episode, I've added a pulse extender that makes it so that it sends exactly the amount of items that I want every time something is triggered. And with that, the redstone part of this is pretty much done. I've also added the architect ladder, TM, uh, where we can go and we can restock every single uh, module of this individually. So the bottom one here is going to be rockets. We simply put rockets in this thing here. These lights will tell us if there are, uh, if, if the system is completely full of rockets. And yeah, as you can see, that chest goes into these hoppers and then into these droppers. Now, in order for the lights to turn on, a lot of rockets need to be inserted because it needs to fill up that dropper, that dropper, that dropper, and that dropper up there. But it also needs to fill up all of these hoppers. In essence, what I want is a system that we don't have to stock that often. I want a system that holds a lot of items. So... Yeah, that is what this does. The only problem is I need to craft a lot of rockets to fill it. And to start off today, I want to finish the build around this place over here. But before we do that, I have been told by hundreds of people to visit... Ooh, look at that. There's still... There's... Can I... Can I... Can I pick this up? Oh, hello? <laughs> can I pick... Can I pick this thing up and play? Oh, I got it. Yes. I feel at this point in time, this game has been up for so long, I should be allowed to use one treasure token. Uh, now, how does this work? I don't want to have to read the book. Deposit your nuggets. Okay, cool. So I throw that in there. Ooh. Mumbo. Mumbo's done some lights and stuff. I like it. I think that sound meant that no good. We, did, we, we didn't actually get anything. There are a lot of our diamonds left in here still. People need to continue to play the treasure hunt. Anyway, I got a bit sidetracked there, not gonna lie. But I've been told by hundreds of people that there is a thing that I need to sign up to. And that thing is represented by a very, very scary hand of death <laughs> by the looks of things. Yeah, that's like a classic hand of death. That looks really, really creepy. Really creepy. New hermit event. Demise. I'm not gonna lie, I, I had to Google what demise meant. And now I know. It's, 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 yeah. Death, basically. Right? This is what it's like to be Swedish, by the way. You have to Google things to understand. New hermit event starts 15th of October, noon GMT. By the time of recording, this has not yet been. I realize that by the time the video is out, this is going to have passed. Demise. This is a new game where the goal is simple. Don't die. You think I'm brand new? And on that note, I'm going to sleep in the bed. Pay 50 diamonds. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Add your name to the list and then proceed to live as long as you can in Minecraft. There is a catch though. If you die, you lose. But you are not out of the game. If you die, you join the dead team. My voice is perfect for such a scary voice right now. The dead team. That's, that's, <laughs> that's great. It's perfect for that during my cold. And must change your skin to be a monochrome or dead, you, you or, de uh, or dead, period. Okay. Your new goal as part of the dead squad is simple. You must help the people who are still alive to not live anymore. <laughs> 
hurts to laugh, but that's that's a funny way. <laughs> that's a funny way to say it, that they need to they need to die. <laughs> However, there is no PvP allowed, so you must think of other ways, traps to help alive the alive folk. Everything else is up to you. Some final points. This game is dangerous and you may lose your items. You must be okay with this when you sign up. God armor makes this game difficult. So when you sign up, please take some armor from the chest provided. You can enchant them in any way you please. If you die to a bug, the death does not count. Everyone starts alive. The dead may team up if they want to. The alive may team up if they want to. Go about your daily business as usual. If you die when you are not recording, record a funny rendition of it to show in your video. Good luck and stay alive, Green. If you win, you win all the diamonds. Extra points, totems of undying are allowed. Minigame deaths counts as deaths in this game. My goodness, okay, so I'm not allowed to wear my beautiful Swedish god armor. Well, I mean, I'm definitely gonna take part in this, and it looks like a lot of other herbits has also taken part. Is Cal 85? There are a lot of hermits. It looks like most of the people on the server are part of this. That's good. I can possibly become the richest hermit on Hermitcraft if I win this. But then there's Scar, so I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm not allowed to wear this armor. I need to wear this armor here. Oh, okay. Is that granny? Is that granny leggings? No, that's iron leggings. I am considering right now to only wear boots. Like, in all seriousness, the number one death for me, is fall damage. Not necessarily, not necessarily anything else. And just having said that, I, I'm a little bit scared now. I'm assuming fully that we are allowed to use an elytra. It didn't say anything about not being able to use an elytra. But I need to enchant these boots to have feather falling. So now that we've signed up to the demise game, I need to wait slightly with making my build there. We're definitely going to get back to that in a minute. But First things first, I'm no longer allowed to wear my god armor, and therefore, I am now walking around very scarily. I, I didn't even want to fly back to Hermitville, because I desperately need feather falling on these boots before I do anything. I know myself all too well, and now that I'm not allowed to die, well, there is a lot of, uh, a lot of stake into this. This does give me the possibility to look like this for the next foreseeable future, until I die. That is derpy. I wonder what other heads would look really funny to wear. I am Batman. I don't know. Th this one looks really scary. I guess that's a good thing when being alive. I look kind of demonic and, and doomed. Anyway, bad news. I have no enchantment books and stuff over at this place. So I need to very carefully make my way to my island. And I'm not, e I'm not even going to Ender Pearl up this tower. I'm going to climb it. And I don't think I've ever used ladders to get up here. <laughs> this this changes everything. And usually when I get back from Hermitville, I will fly. I will fly over the lava and everything is fine. However, I'm now going to use this thing. Long you down, jump in, and hopefully there's no trap on the way. Oh, that's another thing. Once people start dying, we gotta, we're going to have to expect traps everywhere. <laughs> this is going to be so scary. I'm not going to be able to use any public transportations, I don't think, if a lot of people are dead. I I'd assume that the first thing you trap is the public transportations. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm super, super excited about this event. This is going to be so much fun. Everything seems so much larger when you have to walk around and you can't just fly to the places. Our base feels mega large. Traveling back here has made me realize that this is really dumb. Wearing just the boots is going to be very dumb. So I think what I want to do is at least try and have protection enough to survive one creeper blast. Uh, and I just realized I can't wear a chest plate. I'm, I am. I'm an idiot. Oh, I was going to do like a Swedish thing with a yellow chest plate and blue leather pants. But I can't do that because I need my elytra. So this... It's probably going to be my attire. That gives me two armor points. That's not great. I, I want blast resistance. Oh, yes. I do have Feather Falling 4. Okay. Beatrice. So you, my dude, can go back and I will then order Beatrice. Oh, I, the, you don't realize how powerful these things are until the day where you actually need them. 
Now I feel that it's important to be a little bit smart with the enchantment because we can't have very many enchantments, specifically now that I'm wearing a bat's head and I'm sacrificing the, the head's uh, possibility for enchantment. So we're gonna go blast protection on the leggings and I've chosen to go fire protection on the boots. Projectile protection would have been nice, but this is also very useful. Just using my guardian farm is a little bit scary with the thorns in consideration. Look at my hearts. <laughs> Demise pants. So there we go. I think, I think that is what I'm gonna go with. Yes, hello, I'm Grian. I come up with this Demise game where everybody must survive. I like the bat head better. So I've had a change of heart. I've decided that my boots are going to have protection four instead of fire protection. I think that that is better overall. I'm still gonna keep the blast protection on my, oh, I didn't name them for goodness sake. I'm still gonna keep the blast protection on my demise pants though, because creeper explosions are gonna be super scary. But that's pretty much it, I feel. Well, I, it's a lie to say that I feel confident because I feel super scared in general about, about everything right now. But that's as good as it gets, as long as I want to take the risk of wearing a, a custom head, which I totally want to do. I mean, look at me. I'm ba ba <coughs> Batman. But with that done, we are going to head back to Hermitville. And I sigh because, yeah, I, like I said, I'm scared. I'm scared about everything right now. I mean, oof. <laughs> this puts a whole new, a whole new dimension to Minecraft. <laughs> Even not being able to take off is scary. Now don't forget we've been wearing God Armor for a very long time. And I'm kind of accustomed to the risks you can take with God Armor. Which is, you can take a lot of risks. So, yeah. I, I, I hope I don't derp and mess this one up. I have a feeling that everything is going to be just a little bit slower. Just a little bit slower during this event of Demise. Because, yeah, just taking risks even like that jump, Elytra jump there, is a bit risky. And oh my goodness, okay, it's getting night time. I am not going to risk anything during night time. Let's rush back to sleep. So I'll admit I didn't realize that this part would take so long. But now that we have all of this, we can finally get to work. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be jump scared to do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, we can finally get to work to finish Sahara Fuel here in Hermitville. So I think it's time for a third person time lapse. Now in today's third person time lapse, I am going to take some time and talk to you all a little bit about Funcraft. Now a week ago or two weeks ago or so before I got ill or before I got my cold flu whatever this whatever this is I posted a video here on my YouTube channel showing off my brand new mod pack that I've been creating over the past few months or so with my development team and after that I went live with the series and it is a stream only series and tonight after this video is posted just a few hours after I'm going to play some more Funcraft. I'm actually up to six episodes already. I think it's the seventh episode today. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is different because obviously it is a live streamed thing. There's no cutting. There's no retakes. It's just raw Iskal playing Minecraft. But I'm having so much fun and I was hoping that some of you would come and check it out that haven't seen it in the past and maybe modded minecraft isn't anything for you but funcraft is very very different it's not like super super standard bog standard modded minecraft it's more like enhanced minecraft yeah i want to call it enhanced minecraft and i'm having so much fun playing on there that yeah i, ju I just hope that you guys who are maybe a little bit interested in it do catch it uh tonight in tonight's stream and if you did go ahead and say hashtag stream sniped sahara fuel at this petrol garage, you can gain XP, gain rockets, and gain food. To use the system, select the option you want to purchase. Several options are possible at once using the levers. These levers. Once the service is active, redstone lamp lit, press the central button to receive your order. This button. Cost is one diamond per service and usage. Pay in the chest. Happy refueling. Nice. I think that that makes this completely completed. Yeah, and I don't know how visible this was in the time lapse, but I did make a little bit of a logo here with the Sahara sign. And I think personally that that looks really, really cool and sort of petrol garages. Garagey. Garagey? 
yeah, Gerichi. <laughs> if there's anything I would want to change is I would like to have lowered this with two blocks. But I do think that it is kind of cool. You can fly through it. And that's half of the idea as well. And... I think we should give this a test because I have put rockets in. Scrap that. I have not put rockets in. I will put rockets in. Okay, so let's give this a test. The rockets are lit and I have 31 rockets. Let's throw them on the floor because I'm actually curious. I should be getting two stacks from this if I've mapped this correctly. And oh, that is, that is just a beaut. And I got exactly two stacks. Nice. <laughs> now that is... A success. I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting very, very, <laughs> I'm very, very into character with this bat head. Maybe I should add some note blocks to the whole clock, though. The only problem with that is that the clock that runs is all the way down here for the note block. So I wonder what we can make possible in terms of what's heard. If I place them all the way down here, I have a theory that we are not going to hear them, but you never know. Give this a test. Oh, you can hear them. Okay. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that. If I flick all of these and then we run it through. <laughs> that is an amazing sound. That, that is an absolutely amazing sound. I love it. Now you may have noticed that I'm walking around with a totem of undying. Exume is selling these at 10 diamonds each. And I think if I hold it in my offhand, if I do take fatal damage, I do survive. And that wasn't against the rules. So I'm definitely going to do that. Specifically considering that I happen to have quite a few of these. I have a total of six of them. And the funny story about these is that I got all of these when we were securing Hermitville, right when we moved in. And that's also when I got all of these pillager heads. I have never bought one of these. And personally, I think that 10 diamonds each is a little bit on the steep side. So hopefully I don't go through more than five of them. It does also look a little bit weird to keep it in the offhand, but I, I really don't want to die. I really don't want to die. I want to try and win this thing. Now, I'm very proud of this little petrol garage. I think it's really cool. We do have one little problem, though, and that is these. Bottle O Enchanting, or Bottle O XP. I don't actually have any income for these, and I think the only way to get them is to trade with a cleric villager, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack up my stuff, and then we're going to head back all the way back to my island, and we're going we're gonna to have to do a little bit of researching and I'm thinking that eventually we'll probably need a, a bit of a farm to get them. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Now for this bottle of it enchanting, we're going to need the clerics. And the only time I've used clerics in the past, to my memory, is to get the rotten flesh trade. So you trade rotten flesh for emeralds. Is this thing no longer working? Oh, I think it's out of minecarts actually. Still nowhere near to run out of iron, but I am using a lot of it a lot of the time. So eventually we will probably need... To make an iron farm but that should work hopefully rodriguez you should get some fresh meat yep okay so that's still working and then we can remove this thing and a cleric will need a brewing stand so order a cleric or order a villager i really hope everything here is still working it should be though it takes a long time for him to pick his profession i'm going to try and put a slab on top of this to prevent his pathfinding possibilities to other pois and see if that increases the speed but there we go rodriguez is still working as intended that should splash him, and yes. Okay, everything is still working. I don't know why I'm so surprised about that, because in theory, I mean, I haven't made any changes. So I'm not entirely sure at what level we can trade for Bolo Enchanting, but he does have some interesting trades up until that. One gold ingot for one emerald is not terrible if you have a really good gold farm. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. These guys are the guys to sell glowstone, and with, with this whole infestation thing... That's not terrible either. And then apparently he's interested in rabbit feet. Ah, there we go. Yes, final trade. Trades one emerald for one bottle. Oof. Oof. That is a bit of a harsh trade. I wonder how many bottles of enchanting it would take to repair an elytra fully. So over at my creative test world, if I run this command here, I should get an elytra that has one point of durability left. Or two points of durability. Okay, I can't actually get it to be closer. One point of durability equals dead. Okay, so let's just use this one as an example. And then we enchant this one with mending. We don't actually need to enchant it with unbreaking. It doesn't increase the durability, but let's do that anyway. And now let's see 
how many bolos and chanting it takes to repair it fully. And the reason I'm testing this with an Elytra is because of Cubfan. And I feel like that needs a little bit of explaining. You see, Cubfan has built this XP me shop, which is brilliant. It's an absolute genius idea. And Sahara Fuel is using his technology with bolos and enchanting to sell pretty much the same thing. So I want to make sure that we are pricing ourselves at the similar, similar pricing that he's pricing, because he's charging one diamond per elytra repair. Anyway, I'm going to put myself in survival mode, and then, yeah, I, I guess we just equip this and then test this out. So one bolo enchanting gives it that much durability. Okay, 32 bottles gives us almost a fully repaired elytra. Okay, so I think in terms of pricing, I am currently pricing two stacks of Bolo Enchanting. Two stacks, one diamond. That is way too cheap. Way too cheap. So 33 is gonna repair the Elytra completely. So in theory, using the exact same timings and the exact same clock, I should need two dispensers instead of eight, right? Because I want to send 32 balls of enchanting. But I'm going to test that out. So I have the exact same circuits and timings that I have on Hermitcraft here. And this should pulse these droppers in this case and put the items in the chest. And hopefully we end up with exactly 32 in the chest. Uh, no, 40. If I change the timings up here slightly, I would change everything though. But that would give me 38. The, the smaller or the weaker this redstone p uh, signal is, the lesser amount of items I get. But I think 40 is fine. 40 is, is okay. It definitely repairs your lighter completely. And uh, in terms of other things, I wonder, I actually wonder how that would do with the diamond sword, for example. I mean, why not just test it? So I got a diamond sword that is very, very damaged. It has one durability. Now press this button and just stand here. And I guess, I guess the experience is being shot till over here. <laughs> okay, so that repaired it. Yeah, around 500 durability. I think, I think that's pretty generous repair-wise for just one diamond. That would mean that it costs about three diamonds to repair your pickaxe on the fly out in the open. That's a pretty good, pretty good price. Back on the Hermitcraft server, I now know what it takes to do what I want to do. However, I still need a lot of clerics for this. So that's going to be what I will be doing for the foreseeable future. I've now got two of these over here. We still don't really have any emerald income. So that's going to be something that I want to focus on in the future as well. So fairly quickly, we can trade some bolo enchanting, given that we have a handful of clerics. And I may want to put them up like I did with the Sahara workers. I may even want to put them over at Sahara to be fair. And, and call this just a test station. I'm not entirely sure. But the, the, the main point is that Sahara Fuel is fully functioning. I'm going to spend some time in between episodes to stock it up. And hopefully, 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 I don't die. Because seriously, this demise game changes everything. Now that we're playing more or less in hardcore. Because obviously, I, I want to try and win this thing. Then we gotta be we gotta be very careful. We gotta be really, really careful with what we do. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed this episode. If you did, do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.